a couple of weeks ago, back uh, in July of uh, 2021, uh, I had the opportunity to visit uh, a salt lake in southern France. I was there on holiday. And of course, I decided I have to put some salt under the microscope for this YouTube channel here. So today I'm going to show you some beautiful salt crystals uh, dissolving and forming directly under the microscope. But I would like to also show you the place that I visited because I think uh, many of you might not have yet seen a pink salt lake before. So stay tuned. So hi, microbe hunter here. Well, I hope that you're able to understand me because of the wind. In any case, I'm spending a couple of days now in southern France and behind me you see a gigantic salt lake because they're mining salt here. And uh, today I want to put uh, some salt uh, under the microscope. That, that's it. Salt from southern France. And, and look behind me, uh, so much salt, uh, mountains of salt, it almost looks like uh, snow covered mountains here. Well, in any case, at the end of the video, I would like uh, to dissolve some of the salt uh, that I got from here and uh, recrystallize it on a microscope slide because this also looks uh, kind of neat. Now it's uh, quite easy to see that uh, the salt lake here has a very purplish, uh, well, rather pinkish color. Um, and there's also a lot, lot of crystallized salt here on, on the side of the shore here. And the pinkish color is because of Dunaliella, Dunaliella, let me pronounce this right, and Halobacterium. Um, and uh, both of them are responsible for the discoloration. Um, so even though we're talking about a saturated salt solution here, and nevertheless uh, it's uh, full of life and a microscopist's paradise. Uh, but I do not want uh, to take uh, any water samples along from here, uh, because it's a transport problem as well. But rather I'll take uh, some salt at the very end from the souvenir shop to put under the microscope. Now the salt on the shore of this salt lake looked a little bit like snow or like ice. Uh, the temperature of course was quite warm. I almost felt like taking a swim in the lake, but this is of course not allowed and it's also not a very wise thing to do because swallowing uh, even a small amount of uh, salt water, of concentrated salt water, will actually make you throw up <laughs> at least, uh, but can also be quite dangerous uh, if you drink uh, more of it because it really throws your um, system out of balance osmotically. In the background, uh, one could see that there were these large mountains of salt. I approached one of them and had a closer look at them and I was able to see that the salt crystals actually looked quite different from place to place. Um, sometimes uh, those, the salt crystals were very fine and powdery and uh, a few meters next to it the salt crystals looked uh, very clumpy and transparent and round and much larger. Well I'm standing right now right at the, the foot uh, of a mountain uh, of salt. Interesting to see how different the salt consistency is. is there are quite large salt crystals and then there are also parts uh, that are quite fine and powdery. In any case uh, it shows uh, that apparently the crystallization process of the salt um, yeah happened in different ways here. In any case we're gonna go up right now. It almost looks uh, like snow but it's uh, a completely different consistency of course. It's not slippery at all uh, but it's uh, almost as bright as snow and it's uh, sure quite hot here right now as well. <laughs> Yeah, I can confirm it's salt. Of course, I also wanted to collect a small sample to take along as a souvenir also for microscopy. But then later on, I decided that it's actually much uh, easier to use uh, pure salt, uh, one which has been cleaned because uh, the crystallization process is different um, compared to salt which might contain some dirt and some impurities. In the souvenir shop they sold plenty of salt and of course um, I bought a, a little bit of salt there as well and I uh, took it then home and I continued at home the experiment uh, with this uh, pure salt. Here it is um, and uh, when I put it directly under the microscope it really didn't look very nice. Uh, it was just dark irregular shaped structures but then when uh, you add a little bit of water, then uh, because of the refractive index, uh, the salt uh, became much more transparent. It started to look much more beautiful and clear. And one can, could also see that the salt started to dissolve. And uh, when you use a more concentrated salt solution, then the dissolving process is also not quite as quickly. And you're able to adjust now the speed of dissolving by adjusting the concentration of the salt solution. Um, so I kind of slowed it down a little bit to, uh, by actually using a salt, uh, salt water um, to prevent the salt from dissolving too quickly. Um, now, 
if you wait a little bit longer and if you wait until the water starts to evaporate, this is also then the time when you can see that the salt crystals start to form again and start to grow again. And in what I could see is that the salt crystals actually grew back in a much nicer and more regular shape. Um, and this actually shows that uh, during the crystallization process, the individual uh, atoms, they start to arrange in a much more regular way. And for example, here you see uh, a recrystallization process uh, taking place right under the microscope. I had to use some time lapse, of course, um, but because it actually does take several minutes. Um, but the speed also depends a little bit on how fast the water evaporates. And I found uh, that uh, the evaporation process was actually quite slow. And I think that maybe the salt uh, actually also started to absorb some of the humidity um, of the air. Um, I was, of course, also playing around a little bit with the polarization settings of my microscope. This also gave it uh, some nice colors here. And again, a little bit of time lapse uh, where you could actually see how the salt crystals were then actually you know, forming as the liquid started uh, to dry up, like you see over here. See that the liquid, the water starts to be pulled in and starts to evaporate and the crystals, they grow a little bit in the middle. Uh, and then until everything, all of the water has been, um, yeah, is, is gone. Um, the salt crystals, they have a, pyr a pyramid shape um, and they're quite uh, regular in shape because the sodium and the chlorine ions, they start to arrange in a very regular uh, manner. Um, but I would say that uh, much depends a little bit also on the temperature maybe and also on the speed on how fast the water evaporates because I think that this can also have an effect um, and influence uh, crystal formation. Now what I would uh, also recommend that you try out and I did also try this out is to add a little bit of alcohol uh, to the salt water because this uh, reduces uh, the uh, ability for the water to um, dissolve the salt and this also causes uh, crystals to form much faster and because it also breaks the surface tension of the water this allows the salt water to be spread more evenly um, over the microscope slide. So there are plenty of things that you can experiment um, around with here. In any case, before I say bye-bye to you, I would like uh, to invite you, of course, to subscribe to this channel and to check out all of the links that I have in the description below. Happy microbe hunting as always and see you around next time. Bye-bye.